Hey guys, guess what? It's new release time. So here we go. All right, so I am just browsing today and they just finished dropping these new releases. So let's see. Oh, this one's going to be gone really fast. I'm pretty sure it's a trillion cut thing called Galactic Duchess. Mm hmm. Yay. And then we've got same shit. Ooh, we got another choker. It's called Motley in Motion, and it's in brass. Ooh, that's so exciting. Sorry, I'm just, I'm being my usual facetious self. Ooh, look, Moonstone is back. Titanic trinket in green, because, <laughs> you know, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, and we have to have those green things. Uh, still blockbuster crap. The tumbleweed in green is still there. The not knotted keepsake that I told you not to get and or keep. Let's see what else. I'm not going fast because, you know. Ooh, this thing, this galaxy gallery. <laughs> Let's look at the close-up of this. This is going to be gone in like two minutes, I bet. It's acrylic and iridescence. Ooh, so pretty. Yeah, let's uh, set the egg timer for that one. It's going to be done before it's even halfway, you know, whitened up. <laughs> it's just sick. Ooh, look, we have a new guy's ring. It's called In a Scrape because it's all scraped up. That's, that's talent right there. Naming this shit. And, oh, the bear traps are still available, but the full out flutter is now available in pink. Silver butterflies with a little pink rhinestone. Ooh, this is new. Riverbend refugee. All right. Ukraine and Turkey. Uh, Ukraine is in the middle of a war. There are refugees. Bad timing for the name of those earrings. Just saying. Really bad timing for those. Oh, that's just terrible. Cheers to happily ever after. Okay. Yeah, I have a little ingrown hair down here. So if you see this, it's like, you know, it, it, I like watching Dr. Pimple Popper. And yes, I look like complete crap today because, okay, so long story short, I thought today was Thursday and my husband's alarm went off and I was supposed to be at the doctor so I woke up in a oh crap I gotta go to the doctor kind of thing <laughs> and it turns out it's Wednesday <laughs> I get up to the doctor's office and they're like she's not here today she'll be here tomorrow I'm like oh crap is it Wednesday <laughs> uh, I had a fibro fog moment this morning you guys posh pageantry L lead from the frond Huh. Ooh, look, Material Girl. Remember the mermaid one from yesterday that I said who in their right mind would pay $5 for a bobby pin? The same people that are going to spend $2.75 for this bobby pin. This bobby pin is going to probably sell out really lightning speed fast. Tahoe Tourist. It's a magnet clothes one. Anything else? You know, the choker sold out, but the bracelet's still there. And all right, so there's those new releases. Uh, let's go back up to the top and see if the triangle, oh, the triangle's still there. Mm, excuse me. But the iridescent piece is sold out. No, it hasn't, it's still there. Hurry up, ladies, it's gonna sell out really fast. Or is that the, no, that's a Rethel Romance. No, this one. Wow, we are a full five minutes in and that is still available. I'm shocked right now. I'm just shocked. Full five minutes and it's still available. Okay, so enough of Papa Crappy for today. I am so excited to share this news. I received an email uh, from someone who watched my channel. She watched the 10 Reasons Why I Quit Paparazzi, and then she continued to watch. Um, she was waiting for her starter kit to show up because she had just signed up for Paparazzi. I got an email from this young lady telling me that she has decided to cancel her account and to not do anything with the company. She has, in essence, canceled her... Uh, her whole membership dealio Joe uh, with paparazzi because she she doesn't think it's the right thing for her to do and after watching my story 
and doing research, she's decided she doesn't want to do um, paparazzi. So she got the $99 starter kit. $99 starter kit. She opened it. <laughs> she saw some of the stuff I was talking about. Then she went to Nihao and Alibaba, and uh, she saw that a lot of the same stuff was available uh, through the wholesalers. So what did she do? She canceled her account. She's sending me the entire contents of her starter kit. Stuff is selling out, you guys. Look at it. Like, things are moving. They are moving and shaking. Let's see. I know it's a full seven minutes in, but I bet I know which ones are gone. Yep, the triangle piece is gone. The Titanic one is still there, but that gray iridescent one, yep, that's gone. Can I call it or can I call it? So I'm really proud of this young lady and, and I wish her well. And I really do hope that she decides to do her own uh, jewelry business without the MLM because it is possible you guys it is 110 percent possible to do your own wholesale jewelry business without having to go through paparazzi and I'm just going to prove that right now with uh, Nihau okay so on Nihau they have so many different things available now, I like to call this section of Nihau the Z Collection, okay, because these are the bridally gaudy things, I mean, really, a demon eye. But that's somebody's, if that's somebody's niche, you could totally fill that niche. Then we've got the ally rhinestone stuff, but look at the prices, you guys, okay? And this is all sets. These are sets of things, okay? Look, butterflies. Okay, you can buy these sets for the prices that you see on my screen, okay? And you could sell them in your store for whatever you choose to sell them for, all right? You don't have to have a multi-level marketing company be your middleman. You can go directly to the source and sell to your own customer base without paparazzi. Okay, I mean this, this uh, plastic fashion geometric necklace in white that says add to cart, that could be a Z collection piece next year. Oh look, you know how butterflies are really popular with paparazzi? Whoo, there's a butterfly piece. This could be a fiercely Fifth Avenue or whatever. But as you go down and you see what you can get, ooh, look at Choker, from, from a wholesaler in sets, why on earth would you go to paparazzi? Why would you use paparazzi for your middleman when you can go direct to the source and there are so many different styles and options and there are so many different ways to uh, make your store your own. I mean, if you wanted to do iridescent pieces because they're so hot right now, you could do a whole thing of iridescence. And yes, this is uh, a little bit more expensive, but say you wanted to do boho, or just crack stone, or seed bead, or kids style stuff. You know, there's a whole bunch of stuff, you guys. You don't have to behold and be beholden to paparazzi. Now this, this tulip thing, I like that because I like tulips. I like Amsterdam. I like Holland. I like the Netherlands. I like Copenhagen. I'm all about Amsterdam. Why? Because I love the cheese. The cheese in Amsterdam is really good. So I'm just going to keep scrolling. This one, this avocado one, kind of gives me a little bit of OCD and here's why. I feel like there should be a pit on both sides. It's just something that bugs me. Look, sunflowers beachy you know it's spring in St. George right now it's, it's spring so it you know I'm gonna click on natural stone you guys and we'll look and see what's under natural stone oh look it's like the um, 
iridescent shell. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty. That kind of looks like a Z collection piece. Probably could be. But, honest question, you guys. How many of us bought into the whole Z collection hype and then ended up sitting on these pieces? That reminds me of something that was like a fashion fix a couple months ago. But I did. I bought into the Z collection hype. Oh, that's gorgeous. I would buy that. That is so me. That's cute too. Oh, those are cute. See, there's there's tons of fun stuff. You could literally spend days uh, searching this wholesaler and seeing everything because they have so much stuff. I mean, if you wanted a pirate theme store, they have pirate theme jewelry. I mean, they have video game theme jewelry. I mean, I know there are some rules where you, if you buy like branded merchandise, like with Coca-Cola or Disney or football teams, you have to have a license to sell that stuff. Now, the wholesalers in China, you know, they aren't held to the same laws and standards we are, so you got to be careful about that. I just know that for a fact. Um, because one of my clients, she was big at selling, like, sports stuff. Look, frog-themed jewelry. And this has a necklace, earrings, a brooch, and a ring. Okay. Cherries. Hearts. Titanic Heart of the Ocean. Something that could be a Z collection piece. It's extremely colorful. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, you guys. I mean, 40, 48 cents. I'm going to click on this. So these are 48 cents. 48 cents. And one, one set is 48 cents. So do these look eerily familiar to some of the paparazzi things that we've seen? I think so. I mean, those look like something paparazzi had back when I was an active consultant, but you can see the feathers, you can see the antique the boho, I mean, that's what she likes to call it, but have fun. If you don't want to do paparazzi, but you want to sell jewelry, find a wholesaler, build a relationship. I love those retro disc earrings that I have in gunmetal. They're one of my favorite pairs. They're noisy as hell, but I love them. Now I'm under cheap jewelry, you guys. But as you can see, tons of cute stuff. And your profit margins are so much better. And the other thing about this is if you wanted to, you could take pre-orders before you order. <gasps> How very paparazzi. Where's that bag? I have a bag somewhere around here. I know I do. I'm, I'm showing you guys something. So I'm going to click on this and make it bigger. I think they're, because I was cleaning out my car the other day, and I had like a baggie full of jewelry that I just threw in my console. The white ones and the black ones I personally own. And they look exactly like that. And I know they came out in the pink, paparazzi pink, and the, the pale pink. So these, these babies are not a paparazzi original. Okay, just saying. So anyway, uh, that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow I will do a live unboxing of the uh, starter kit that I get in the mail uh, to show you guys. Uh, you know, because paparazzi does that video, get ready, here comes your starter kit. In fact, I think I'll do that real quick because, you know, I have time and I have nothing else to do today. So, well, I do, but I'm avoiding it because who wants to do laundry? Not me. Okay. I'll pull up this paparazzi video. Oh, by the way, if you haven't, um, <laughs> if you haven't watched the newest CC Suarez video, it's freaking hilarious. I love her. Um, she just dropped it this morning, but it's, it's good. So if you can watch it. All right. So I'm going to do the unboxing of the starter kit that, um, 
my upline did and she usually, oh, no she usually does seat. this so I'm gonna just mute that here we go now this is Anya from Papa Rockstars because I was part of the Papa Rockstars so let me get this up interact and skip all right let's unmute Paparazzi accessories. Today we are going to unbox the $99 starter kit. Now I've been a consultant for about seven years now, but I borrowed one of the, or this kit from one of my newest consultants so that we could open it together today and you can see what is inside the $99 starter kit. Okay, first comment. Now in the video yesterday where we were showing them in their blockbuster uh, pictures, her hair was all up and spiky and she was like doing the Mm -hmm. the fierce like 1940s poster gal this is what she looks like normally this is how I remember her now on top of her doing the unboxing of the starter kit look at all the jewelry on the wall behind her that's called profits hon according to Lindsay Knott those are all profits again how is it profit if it hasn't sold so let's go back to Lynn, uh, to Lindsay, to Anya, uh, or Anya, however she says her name, uh, doing an unboxing of a starter kit. So let's, let's bust it open. Got my scissors. This is so exciting. Really? It is? It's been a while since I joined and I know the starter kits are new and upgraded. So this is going to be really fun to look at this together. They're upgraded. Okay. They've probably been downgraded recently. Bubble wrap right on top. You can see the cute paparazzi decoration. Black bubble wrap on the other side. That's that's something to show off. The cute paparazzi bubble wrap. Really? We're supposed to be excited about bubble wrap? <laughs> Here it is. This is one of the prettiest kits that I have. Okay. Like I said in the past, and I'll say it again today, um, paparazzi's boxes um, are really not uh, ecologically friendly because they have the plastic uh, coating on the outside. So my recycling place won't accept them because of that plastic coating. Then you look inside and there's even more cardboard upon cardboard upon cardboard ever seen don't you agree no just now. so it says lift here so there's two dots right here so let's go ahead and do that punch open those holes lift it all lift that out oh <gasps> my goodness okay so what i'm seeing here is on both sides of this paparazzi box is 35 pieces of crap jewelry now this is your 35 pieces of jewelry that comes in this starter kit to get you off to a really good start and then inside this box here in the center there's more so let's pull that out and explore it together oh yes explore inside. the kit is a little heavy so it, it's a smaller box but it, it's heavy because of all the paperwork that's inside it's kind of heavy because i think of what's in here because this box is also very heavy you can see the box itself is beautiful it's a beautiful box. You know, those boxes, those are the same kind of boxes you get with your fashion fix every month, but it says fashion fix on top. And they're very beautiful boxes because they have a little magnet closure. And they love to have you have those boxes so you can store your inventory. <laughs> Stripes on the side. Okay, let's see what's in this one. Ooh, the first thing I can see is this welcome packet. Again, beautifully designed. We'll crack open this in just a second. Next open, oh, can you guys see this? It says, step into the spotlight. The story of success begins here and you're the star. The story is... So you open the box and if you read that, the propaganda starts right away. The brainwashing starts immediately. So let's hope you know how to read. One of transformation. It's inspiring, it's exciting, and it's fashionable. And I'll let you read the rest yourself when you get your kit. Next up is a paparazzi party planner. Now this... Nobody does parties anymore. Nobody has done parties, in-home parties, or any kind of party since COVID. And I never did a party 
at all the entire time I was um, active. One, because I didn't know a lot of people, and two, um, I didn't have room to do it. And uh, what's another reason why? Oh yeah, because everything was done online. Everything. Facebook Live, Instagram Live, YouTube. So who in the hell does parties anymore? It's an outdated structure. This is a great way to keep track of your parties and to um, plan when you want to work your business as well as any things that you might have like for your family. I use this as my personal calendar too. I use this as my personal calendar too. What else is in here? Oh my gosh, the this, fake excitement is This cool. box is so pretty. Look at this is a box of pegboards. Look at how pretty this is. This is your pegboards, you guys. Look at that. You can hear it kind of... Because, you know, we'll give you the peg hooks that don't fit on any universal pegboard at all. Uh, we'll give you these hooks that don't fit any pegboard that you can buy from Home Depot or Lowe's. No, these peg hooks are huge and they don't fit in anything. Chingering around. These are hooks that go onto pegboards. So you can see, maybe you can't see, because these are the clear version of these same hooks. These are... And they're the crap. version, And they just slide right into the pegboard so that you can display your necklaces or earrings or bracelets with those. So there's 25 of those. So right off the bat, in this starter kit, they're giving you stuff to hold inventory. But yet they tell you not to hold an inventory in the policy and procedures. But right off the bat, in that starter kit, they're giving you a peg hook holder so you can get a pegboard and display your jewelry. Those hooks. And then, so we have inside the box, we have another box. So let's set this one aside. Yeah, set it's that like one aside. It's like Christmas, don't you think? Opening all these boxes. It's not so Christmas. This one says it's a nightmare. This one says paparazzi. Become an invite. Okay. Accessorize, become an invite. So there they are. Let's crack into this box now. We Can you just tell she's a product of the product because she's wearing her mom girl boss necklace with her paparazzi wooden dipped earrings and lead paint? So lovely. Still have the other package or packet to look at too, don't we? Ooh, so fun. Okay, here's a nice letter for you. I'm going to let you read that when you get it in your starter kit. Here we here's our stupid decal. <laughs> we have a vinyl decal for your car. This is our new consultant checklist. So as a new consultant, you can go through this by yourself or with your leader. This is what you need to follow so you can get uh, your recruits off the bat. This is the whole thing to do your recruits. Your first call, your second call, what you should be doing, how you should start looking for recruits and working your business 24-7. That's what that is, more propaganda. And these are steps that you should be taking to get your business off on the right foot, okay? Mm -hmm. Next up, this is a, a receipt book that nobody ever uses, but you should because it's cheaper than invoicing. But then again, how are you gonna collect payment if you don't have a payment processing system? So yeah, that's a receipt book. A packet of receipts so that as customers order your jewelry, you can write them a receipt, keep a copy for yourself, and then- But that's if you do in-home parties. <laughs> but don't accept checks because people will stop payment on checks and they will bounce. Give them a copy as well. This is your party checklist. So that you can go through this list. Oh, and this is according to Papa Rockstars in one of those uh, blogs or podcasts I listen to. This is where you pull someone aside and say, hey, do you want to join my team? Did you have fun at this party? Do you want to become a consultant too? That party checklist is exactly that. That is teaching you how to recruit. All of the stuff in this little box that she's so excited about is teaching you how to recruit. And um, when I get this kit from this girl uh, tomorrow, I will read this in detail and show you guys in detail what this stuff is because it's little. And make sure that you have everything that you need before you get out the door to your parties. Um, make sure you have things like... Notice everything is covered in plastic. Plastic and cardboard. I mean, this entire thing is an ecological nightmare to me. 
your sales bags, um, your jewelry toolkit, and um, of course your jewelry, things like Yes, I'm tired. I did not sleep well last night. Yeah, so it's a nice checklist for you. Oh, punch cards. Got to have those These punch cards. These cards are so cute. It says we have a thing for bling. They're not cute. And I believe there's 10 cards in here. It is a frequent buyer punch card. So that as your customers buy the jewelry, you can give them. But, you know, that's in your starter kit. But don't, on your website, set up an algorithm that matches that frequent buyer punch card because that's not compliant. You know, um, when you have a Shopify store, you can set up so when someone logs into your Shopify store to shop with you, um, if they have a certain number of things in their cart, uh, your Shopify store can automatically uh, honor the uh, frequent buyer program. But... Compliance police, a.k.a. Anya and Tian, told me that I couldn't do that because it was against compliance. But yet in my starter kit, there's those stupid-ass punch cards. Uh, you can punch it with like a hole punch or you can just initial that and then when they buy 12 pieces, they get a free piece of jewelry. What else is there? And then, ergo, you give away your profits. So this is... The Compensation Plan, idiot. The Compensation Plan brochure. So this walks through how you can earn money from uh, having other people join your team with you. And notice it's all covered in plastic still. And get money from that. We call that residual income. Oh, yeah. We call that residual income. We call it preying on other people. Residual income predatory income. That's what it should really be called. The only thing that is not a predatory residual income is when you own a rental property and you're renting it to a family and they're paying rent on time. And if you own that property outright, that's residual income to me. Not preying on people and being in an MLM. These are new consultant applications. So when your friends and family start... You don't need to do an application. But, you know, if you want it to look official and if you want to have all that information, by all means, have someone fill that out. But usually you just get sent a link and you get told, go here and sign up. Nobody does applications anymore. Not even employers. Or seeing the money that you're making and want to give this a try too, they can fill out this paper copy. Um, it has all of our terms and conditions on the back. Or you can give them a copy of this and they can fill it out online. Notice the policies and procedures aren't in there, but at least the terms and conditions are in there. That's going to be helpful. I'm going to give that to my attorney. This is our leadership worksheet. This kind of helps you set goals for your paparazzi business. Uh, they can be weekly, monthly, and then you'll know exactly what you're shooting for. Mm -hmm. Can you believe how much is in this kit? Oh my goodness. This is Look, it's a piece of cheap covered cardboard with black felt. Woo, so exciting. A necklace display bust so that you can display your necklaces at your parties or on your live shows and have them look very professional, very nice looking. And we have some thank you cards so you can write a nice thank you note to your hostess or to your customers as they purchase from you and envelopes to go with those. <laughs> A packet of party invitations. So Nobody the uses them. Let's get this party started. And then on the back, it has the places that you can enter the party details, as well as the address. You can send those to people. Not during quarantine, but any other time. <laughs> and then we have our jewelry. I'm guessing she did this during quarantine, and that's why she said that. But, oh, look. It is the jewelry repair kit with your pink mule nose pliers. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, that tells you the quality of the product you're about to sell right there when they send you a repair kit in your starter kit. Pair kit. So you have all the pieces in here, all the little slots to organize it, and then a pair of little jewelry pliers. So that you can fix any, any little things that might go wrong, like maybe the earrings um, hook piece is broken or maybe an O-ring. They're very, very simple fixes, and that can be accomplished very easily with this. Next up, we have pink. Look, more plastic to ruin the environment with. Nothing in that box but plastic, paper, and cardboard. Sales bags for all of the sales you're going to make with. Just don't be excited about pink sales bags, please, for the love of God. Your jewelry. 
can send them home in stock. Okay, that is it for that box. Now let's take a look at the jewelry here inside of this one. Oh, I'm so curious to see what's in here. Oh, I see this <laughs> right here. It says, welcome to the party. Take 25% off of your first order personalized marketing uh, things at Paparazzi. Oh, yeah. Go to the Paparazzi back office and order your personalized business cards, and we'll give you 25% off. Woo-hoo! So that gives you a coupon so that you can get some more of those punch cards. You can get some business cards. So that is a really handy business tool, right? No, it's not. Next up, let's see, we have a pack of rings. Now, I do want to point out that not everybody's starter kit is going to be exactly the same. So you will have 35 pieces of jewelry. The jewelry is going to vary, okay? And then they are constantly changing and upgrading these starter kits. So some of the things that I just showed you, they may have been upgraded. They may have been modified. So if they may have been eliminated. Hmm, I'm so curious to see what's in this starter kit that I'm getting tomorrow. You are getting your starter kit and they're not exactly the same. Just know that they are always making these better. But with the $99 kit, you will be getting 35 pieces of jewelry. So here's a pack with, I think there's five rings in there. Yeah, okay, like I said, them. these vary from kit to kit. So I'm not going to necessarily open, you and open them and show you everything, but I do just want to show you a little bit. So here is, it looks like a pack of five bracelets. There's some sparkles in there. I love that. There's some sparkles in there. This pack is some of our best selling of all time pieces. So you know these are gonna fly out the door. If there are best selling ones, you know that they're gonna sell well for you. No, they're not. Because you have one hanging on the wall right behind you. Um, I see the Toast to Perfection hanging on your pegboard. What else do I see hanging on your pegboard behind you? A scarf for attention. A silver spell. So if they're going to fly out of the store, why are they hanging up behind you? Hmm? Okay then. Okay. This is a packet of earrings. Look at this sparkles in there! So I'm kind of eyeballing these going, hmm. <laughs> Some earrings there and then necklaces so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten different necklaces and none of them are going to sell because i've just looked at them and i saw two hanging on a wall behind her and they were colors that people don't want greens copper yellow we have this pack right here which is called a fashion fix set now I'm going to show you real quick. That's what's left in the box, and then I'm going to set this aside so we can talk about oh, this. Oh, you get a whole fix fashion fix set. Um, our set. Why do they do this? Why do they send you a fashion fix set? Mm. It's a mystery. Why do they send you a fashion fix set? Ooh, so they can tell you about the exclusive fashion fix sets and say, hey, you can sign up to be on the fashion fix list. It's exclusive. So you can put yourself on the waiting list and then you can enroll in fashion fix. It's a, it's a subscription service and we'll send you the five fashion six fix sets every month and then they like to tell you that you get exclusive mystery hostess gifts in the fashion fix box. You know, stuff that you know, other consultants don't get, but it was so oversaturated for a while that Fashion Fix would sell out so fast. So which Fashion Fix set did they put in this starter kit? I list every month, they there's something called the Fashion Fix, and they put together these stylized sets that are direct matching. So you can see this set has four pieces. It comes with this card with the model wearing the pieces and looking oh so cute. And then we have this card back here, which is a stylist tip card. Now the stylist tip card gives us uh, tips and tricks on mixing and matching things, what's in style so that you can uh, know how best to accessorize the different pieces that you get. Now it doesn't just work with the set that comes with it. As you read these tip cards, you're going to be getting trained by the paparazzi stylists themselves. Almost as if they were... So if you read this, that's your training. What? Really? No. Just no. So anyway, this is what um, Anya did. I'm going to take this down for a second. And please pardon the fact that I look harried and crazy today. So Anya did this whole unboxing of a starter kit. Now tomorrow I will do my video 
when the package is delivered to me. I'm not going to do it with the same amount of excitement. Um, what I'm going to do is open that starter kit and point out every ounce of propaganda that's in that starter kit. I'm also going to point out all of the recruiting tools that are in that starter kit. And then we'll look at the, the fugly stuff that they sent you in that starter kit. Because um, I want to know how many people uh, actually sell out everything in their starter kit. So, Papa Crappy will be live tomorrow with uh, the actual unboxing of a starter kit. So, that's what we're going to do. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for making it to the end of the video, and have a great day, everybody.